Alright, back at Giants. See if we can find one before. Don't have that one. I actually like that one, Turbine Sublime. All right, here's our haul from Giant. Got a whole bunch of cast things from um, this trip. And up first, we have this Dodge Dart from the Art Cars series. I thought it looked um, kind of cool with this kind of art deco on there. You got the U up on the roof, then you have the, the different colored wheels and Dart on, on the sides. Super cool. Up next, we have this Turbine Sublime. This is from the HW X Racer series, so it does have a glow-in-the-dark component. I think this one, it's kind of like the in interior part. So I always like getting these kind of cool-looking cars. And as you can see, it has kind of like those translucent blue um, wheels as well. But it looks like a very cool car. And the front splitter works too, as you see here. So you have kind of two features in one car, if you count the glow-in-the-dark function. Up next, we have the 65... Mustang 2 Plus 2 Fastback from the Muscle Mania series in dark metallic green. I love the paintwork on here, and of course you got the white stripes on there as well. Very cool, crisp looking casting. We have another vehicle from the X Racer series. This is the Cosmic Coupe. And as you can see, the fenders glow in the dark, which is a very cool touch. Has kind of similar wheels to that Turbine Sublime, but um, it still looks like, like a pretty cool car. As you can see, it's got the blue base and blue interior as well. Super cool. Up next, we have the black version of the coupe clip. As you can see, it's black with the gold base and the gold striping. So now I currently have all three versions of the coupe clip, which I'm happy to have. But that looks very cool. Nice and shiny. It was great as a keychain, which it pretty much is a keychain. All right, there's our haul.
here's our haul from Giant. A few unique cars here. We'll start with this one here, the Desert Drifter, or the Dessert Drifter, whatever it's called. <laughs> and it looks like it's like a jello thing with, I guess, icing on top or something. It's from the Sweet Ride series. One of those weird looking food cars. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Um, we'll get this one popped open first. All right, there it is there. Looks like it's a lime flavored thing. Of course, you can't actually eat it, but it's based off, I guess, lime jello. That's a weird looking car, but cool though. And you got a metal uh, base on there too. The wheels kind of look like those um, original tuned Hot Wheels rims that they used. Up next, we got the Cruise Bruiser, some kind of station wagon, fantasy station wagon from the HW Wagon series in white. Check that out. It's actually a cool looking wagon. There's some detail in there with the engine and stuff. It's not based off an actual station wagon, I don't think, but very long and flat too. Cruise Bruiser on the side there with the number 22 in the back. Looks like you got like an anchor or something back there. That's interesting. Sunroof, way in the back there. That I think that's a cool casting. Next, we got the McLaren Elva in this really cool kind of metallic blue with the white racing stripes and number 12 on there. That is awesome. From the HW Exotic series. Let's get that one opened up next. Look at that blue. That is fantastic. I have the black version, but I think I prefer this uh, blue version. You got the cool uh, livery on there, and then you got the number 12s on the doors, and, and on the hood, and then you got the stripes on the hood as well. That is a really cool casting. You got some interior detail on there, too. Awesome. All right, last but not least, we have the Custom 18 Ford Mustang GT from the Spoiler Alert series. This is not the Super Treasure Hunt version, but it does still look uh, pretty cool. I believe the splitter, yeah, it's got a working front splitter, too which we will take a look at once we get this out of here. Crack this one open. All right, there's the Mustang. It even says spoiler alert on the hood there. I like the two different color wheels. You got the rear spoiler, front splitter, which kind of clips on and off like so. Awesome, you got some side tampos on there too. All right, I think that was a neat little haul. Now on to the next hunt. At long last, back at Giant. Let's see if we can find four. It's a throwback to the summer when they used to have all these same cars here. Is there? Ooh. DeLorean?
All right, here's our haul from Giant. Got some pretty cool um, castings here. We'll go ahead and take a, a closer look at what we found. Up first, we have the Lay and Lowrider from the HW Expire Motor series. This actually has an engine block that moves around as you roll the car. I thought that was a pretty cool feature. Plus, it looks kind of like um, a muscle car. I'm not sure which muscle car it's based off of, but probably like a Pontiac or Chevy of some sort. I'm not really too sure, but I do like the paint on here too. Look at that red, super cool. And, there, and then here's how the um, engine block moves as you roll the car. Awesome looking gas thing. Up next, we got the Snowstormer from the HW uh, Rescue series. I thought that was a pretty cool looking uh, kind of a fantasy cast thing. It's got a mix of plastic and a metal on it, but it does look pretty cool. You got some purple and yellow um, going on on there. Awesome. And then up next, we have the DeLorean from Back to the Future. Been trying to find a, a version of this casting for quite some time. This is from the HW Screen Time series. But they actually did a pretty good job with this. All the time machine stuff in the back is pretty well detailed. It, it, it is all just gray, but I think it does look um, very well done. And of course, the, the metal paint on the car is super cool. And there's some good front end I'm detailing too. Up next, we have this custom small block from the Experimotor series. And as you'll see, those parts on the top actually come off and you can either I guess add your own from like Legos or Mega Bloks or something or just leave them on as they are but this is a pretty cool looking car there's the pieces how, how you kind of uh, pop them off so make sure they don't get lost but I guess you can always replace them with Legos or something too but I thought that one was, was a pretty cool so I got that one last but not least we have the LB Works Lamborghini Horicon Coupe from the HW Ex Exotic Series. Very cool looking casting. You got the racing decos on there and everything. Nice details with the headlights as well. All right, these last few hauls were, I would say, very good. So I hope you guys enjoyed these last few Hot Wheels hunts and there's bound to be some more in, in the future. Thanks for watching.